Hello and welcome to another episode of Lost in the Pond. My apologies that I've been away for about just over a week now. Sometimes you just have to get away to your own little private island. Uh, not like Marion Crane in Psycho. I didn't, I didn't steal $40,000. Or get stabbed to death in the shower, but that's another story for another time. In today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how the Brits pronounce this word. Of course, here in America, it's very much pronounced basil, like the word hazel. Uh, but back home, we don't pronounce it that way. And I've actually got uh, a copy here. It's not really a copy, is it? It's just a physical entity. Now, where I'm from, it's quite like the name from Faulty Towers. We pronounce it basil, as in basil faulty. But today we're not talking about a talky hotel manager, we're talking about the type of herb. And also no notice there how I pronounce the word herb. I put an H on it, unlike Americans uh, who drop that H. But you know what, I was, I was thinking about this, that we're quite hypocritical to chastise the Americans for dropping the H on herb, when we British people do that on so many words. Uh, for instance, the other day I went for an air cut down at the airdressers and things of that nature. So, again, more hypocrisy on our part. I do apologise, Americans. We are a rather complex people. But yes, it's a herb, much like, um, I don't know, or oregano. Um, that's, that's another one, isn't it? Americans say oregano. We say oregano. There, there might be more to this. I should check the entire list of herbs and get back to you on that, give you a, a top ten list. Um, they're probably the only two, actually. That, that would be embarrassing. Sorry, I got a bit sidetracked there, didn't I? Um, so, Basil. Basil. Don't mention the war! That's it for this spicy episode of Lost in the Pond. Uh, you can join me once again for another episode of Lost in the Pond right here on YouTube, where you can subscribe. See that little subscribe button? It's not so little. Press it. See what happens. Have a good time for the rest of your life, because you'll be with me. Not romantically, just here on YouTube. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can go to my website, lostinthepond.com. Until the next episode, have a jolly good time. Ta-ra.